Hi Libra, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is your weekly love and romance reading for January 19th to the 25th. Let's get right into it. We're going to do a full Celtic cross with the Terra Mucha Tarot deck and then I'm going to clarify with Whispers of Love and Romance Angels. Please pardon my voice. I am tired. Been working a lot. Late night. Woke up. My breakfast is coffee. There I am. All right. So I've got a busy day ahead. I'm trying to get these readings out before I step out. It's like work on top of work on top of work. But I am going to throw in another oracle card because you know why? It's the 19th to the 25th for this reading and I know I missed a day yesterday so I will put in another oracle card from Colette Baron Reads Wisdom of the Oracle. I'm not going to read like there's three messages for that card. There's a prosperity message, a protection message, and a relationship message along with a general reading. Oh shit. Heartbreak, loss, and This is about having the skills and the tools to do what you need to do to manifest what you want. And is this something that you did? Queen of Wands on the bottom. It's a very confident card. Sometimes it can speak to ego as well. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to read the relationship message for the Wisdom of the Oracle Oracle cards. All right, so let's get into your Celtic cross. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 19th to the 25th. What's going on in love and romance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 19th to the 25th, please? Can we get a full Celtic cross, please? for the Libras. We need to hear this message for those who are trying to manifest, and that's it. And that's how I end my... Okay, Libra. You know and I know, we know, this guy comes up all the time for you guys. Okay. On the bottom, Wheel of Fortune. Excellent. Excellent. We've got Knight of Wands over here in the situation, challenged by the Judgment card. Consciously, Eight of Swords. Foundation, Six of Swords. Yeah, yeah. Recent past temperance. Yep, we saw that before. Two of Swords in the recent future. Ten of Wands right now. Mm-hmm. Around you is the world. Hopes and fears, six of wands, outcome, ace of wands. Excellent. Looks good. This reminds me of a Libra reading I did way back. And it was regarding this knight of wands and, you know, kind of a separation, but they were committed, but you weren't. doesn't have to be that situation, but it reminds me of it. <clears throat> okay. Here we have knight of wands. I call this the, the hotsy totsy coming in hot guy. Okay. He's attractive. Very, very high energy and very masculine. This is someone who is passionate and fast moving. They like to be excited and sociable and out there. And <clears throat> they're very exciting to be around. The Knight of Wands is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. As is like the wands, the fire energy is just represented by those three signs. doesn't have to be that. The situation is regarding someone who's like this. This could be as a person, someone early 20s to early 30s. Very attractive. Very intimidating and exciting. Passionate. This also speaks to very fast news coming in. you got the fire energy backed up by it being a knight, backed up by it being... You know, on a horse here with swift movement. So this is very fast coming in. This is somebody who wants to offer you their passion and their excitement and their emotions look in a passionate way. Okay? Now, this is challenged by the judgment card. This is something where a decision is made. There's a Generally, this, this judgment card is Angel Gabriel blowing a horn and resurrecting people. And these people are in their coffins and they come back to life because of this big wake-up call. It's a, an aha moment. It's like, a, oh my goodness, all right, now this is, this is what it is. This is the situation. It's an enlightening of something. It's a finding out something. It's being aware, made aware of something that you didn't see before. It's something that's a big wake-up call. So... You've got this Knight of Wands energy, and I feel like they're challenged by finding out something. And look at the look on this person's face. 
right? It's a huge news delivery. They found out something huge. Generally speaking, the um, judgment card is uh, has a good omen to it. Uh, if you're wondering about a yes or no question, it's a positive indication. In the conscious, you've got Libra in your mind state, okay? You're not in a very... Um, I don't feel that this Knight of Wands is your energy. Let's put it that way. What do we see here? We see swords and we see wands. Very clean cut, right? Wands, 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 wands. Swords, swords, swords. And then one, two fake cards. Three fake cards. Excellent. Four fake cards with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so basically I feel like this is you, right? And... You two are tied together because this is you too, but you're you're carrying the wands here and I feel like, okay, we'll go into it. You're restricted with fear in your mind, so you can't see clearly and that means you think like, you're not thinking clearly because you're coming from a place of fear and restriction. The castle is right there. You don't go to the castle because you can't see clearly because you're scared. On the subconscious and the foundation, you left the situation in the past. You left. Oh, no. Or in the right now. That means like this is a woman sailing overseas to a new land to make a new home, a new start. You left the old situation, which was painful and possibly, you know, hurtful here for you. Kind of an abuse of power situation. And you left it. To find a better, peaceful, more, um, you know, sanctuary or home or place to start over. That's what you're feeling in this foundation here. But in comes this Knight of Wands. That's the situation. It's a big wake-up call here, crowning this. Do you see this very fearful, calm, quiet, leaving, tranquil energy? And then there's like, can you get any more dramatic than a horn blowing with this angel looking like they're shocked? And then like this... Knight of Wands coming in quickly, right? It's two very different energies. Recent past, you were in the temperance mode because I feel like this goes with your feelings here of being restricted and fearful and leaving a painful situation. What have you been doing? You've been taking time to heal with the temperance card, staying uh, at home, around people who care about you, eating healthy, living healthy, you know, watching Netflix and chilling, just self-healing, taking care to make sure that you're on the mend, that you are healing these issues. You, you realize these, you're facing them, and you're taking time. It's a fate card, the fate major arcana card, major secrets, major influences. This was required for you to take this time. Also could speak to needing to be healthy and take care of yourself for healing. In the recent future now, you've got, because of this going on, two different energies, right? A choice, two truths. What are you going to do? Again, we see the blindfold. We see you in the conscious, so fearful you don't see straight. And then you see in the recent future, again, calmer much calmer with this news coming in, this person coming in, you feel a little bit more reassured, reassured it seems, right? Much more peaceful state of mind. Now you're in a, okay, I'm, I'm kind of chilling more now. I got these two swords. I've healed in the recent past, taken time to think about my next move, what I'm going to do, what's best for me and for, you know, those I care about, whoever. And then there's two of swords. You're going to make a decision until you make a decision you're going to be stuck because you need to make a decision. It's a fork in the road. You have to make a call. Here you are in your energy with this Ten of Wands. That means you yourself have been weighed down by these Ten Wands. Great success, great responsibility. That's this card. Ten of Wands is if you love what you're doing, you know, like let's say a mother, you have a baby and you've got, it's like a 10 of wands energy because it's immense responsibility and work, right? But you love it. So you embrace it. You know, it comes with the package. Now, let's say you are working at a, a, your own business or something and it's not very meaningful to you. So 
you're doing, you know, you're making money and you're doing great and it's successful, but you hate the work. Then you hate it and it's a burden and you want to drop those wands, right? So what's going to happen with you in this situation, holding these 10 wands, this great responsibility, great success, right? This is how you right now, this woman looks very calm. She's embracing it around you. We'll find out around you. You've got this world card. The world card is a major arcana card. This is someone around you. It's fate. Sorry, boo. It's fate. Okay. This faded wake up call. Bottom is a fate card. Around you is a fate card. Recent past, you needed to take the time to heal so you can get your head straight because your head was in a fearful state. Where was it? It was like, I'm scared. What am I doing? I'm overwhelmed. I, I can't see straight. I'm leaving. I left. I got to find somewhere else, more peaceful thing. I, this is not, this situation is not right for me. Whatever the situation was, I got to leave it. But the fake card kicked in here going, no, no, no. You take time, heal, think about what you're doing. Take the time to really calm down, to get your energy back to, to normal, to realign yourself. And there you are, two of swords from a calm place, two decisions. You're going to make a choice. This is you and it, why you have to make a big choice. Why it's such a big choice is because you have a lot of responsibilities around you though. It's the fake card. This world card is like either speaking to the completion of a phase or cycle. And again, I'm going to liken it to birth. Okay. This is like after 10 months in the, in the, um, belly, it's not nine months, 10 months in the belly, then that world card would like pop in to go, okay, that phase is over. Now it's time to give birth to the next phase, which is the baby actually coming into the world. Okay. So like that, the world is about divine timing. And now that karmic phase that was there has ended and it's ushering in a new phase. This is someone around you. It's a either completion, like, you know, that cycle has completed and ended or you complete me. Okay. I feel like someone around you in Libra, I've gotten this for you before with this Knight of Wands in previous readings way back. If I'm picking up on the same energy, okay? It's someone who is invested fully. World also speaks to long distance. Sometimes people who are traveling, who are thinking of travel, you also get the world card, like the travel bug kind of, you know? And you've got the six of swords here thinking at the foundation of leaving and going to a, another, making a new home across the seas to a new land, right? And around you, you've got this energy as well. Now this could be someone who's going to come to you or you're going to go to them. I feel like this could be someone coming to you because here you are in the situation, Knight of Wands, whichever way it plays out, whether it's you going to them or them coming to you, I see wands and swords. Wands are about growth fire energy, creating swords are about the mind, thought, intellect. Okay. And in this case, it's a lot of stasis, fear, leaving a situation that wasn't working right in your subconscious. That's what's going on in your mind. In your hopes and fears, you got six of wands. That's a victory card. It's like a rite of passage. It's like a celebration of something that you've, um, accomplished winning at something. Okay. So in love and romance, it could be also like a feeling of winning freedom. Six of wands is someone coming home and they, they're, they've been successful. They wanted something and everybody else is cheering it's like a good time, like a rite of passage, even like a graduation or something along those lines. Okay. In the outcome, you've got the ace of wands. This is a yes card. It's also a passionate new beginning. It is a new beginning that manifests to this completion, 10 of wands. It's like giving a chance, giving a try, getting an opportunity, giving an opportunity. It's very potent. All the aces are potent. It's like a, if it's a yes, no question. Okay. We've got like three yeses, four yeses. Okay. If it's about, you know, how will this turn out? It's a passionate new beginning. Okay, let's pull some Oracle cards. This is Whispers of Love. Let's get a card for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 19th to the 25th. 
We get one card, please, for Libra. There. That's it. True love. True love. There you go. On the bottom, I love you. What? <laughs> what? These are very important words. I am telling you. I swear to you. I've been... Okay, I'm going to take credit for this. <laughs> I've been asking for positive readings. I've been asking for readings for people who are trying to manifest their best life. And I swear to you, I've been getting such positive readings now. Okay, true love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. Look at this woman. She's got a baby here and the flower at the side. They've got two unicorns together. She's like in it. He's got an old man playing the guitar and a little youthful, you know, version of himself, maybe, or a child, like a, I don't know, like a elven kind of looking person in the background. True love. I love you. Okay, we'll put them together. Why not? Just because, just because it's such a sweet energy, right? All right. And you got Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. Okay, Wheel of Fortune speaks to temporary separations too, departures. Because this wheel turns, so however things are going, it turns the other way, it like turns like a, a full 360, but it's the wheel of fortune, it's not the wheel of misery, right? So it ushers in success and wonderful things. Also speaks to completions as well, of old cycles, new cycle coming in. Let's get one Romance Angels card, please, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the week of January 19th to the 25th. cards look at this look at this true love again i love you this healing down here true love i'm gonna put the true loves next to each other okay this is the card speaking it ain't me i don't and it ain't the cards alone either <laughs> All right, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And again, with this, you deserve love. You are lovable. This is your insecurities. I mean, this card speaks to needing to make affirmations, saying, I am loved. I am loving. I am lovable. Saying that'll help you. You're insecure and fearful, okay? Before you're trying to, you know, jump ship and leave and go somewhere else, whatever it is, don't do it. I feel like it's a don't do it, okay? Because there's true love here. It's a beautiful thing. You deserve love. All right. But as promised, I said I'd give you guys another oracle card. And this is Wisdom of the Oracle. Oracle cards by Colette Baron reed And as I said, it's got three different types of messages. Protection message, relationship message, prosperity message. I am going to read you the relationship message. This is for... Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 19th to the 25th, please. Just to say, this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. True love, this love is once in a lifetime love. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You deserve love. Now, when they give you a card that says you deserve love, that implies that you don't know that. All right. Can we get one card, please? Or Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 19th to the 25th. Okay, that just flew out. Okay, now they're going to make me work. I'm sorry, the jiggle the table. Okay, to be fair. And we've got scales here with the justice. Let's see what this means, to be fair. Number 38. It says, 
in essential meaning, balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Yeah, it's like the justice card. Okay, the oracle's message. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in... Come on, music. Okay. Adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Now the relationship message is, can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening, as well as speaking for understanding, as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned, and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit, and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. Okay, so that is your reading, Libra. Justice, I'm going to say as well. You know, justice card, it speaks to legal matters, court dealings, speaks to separations, prenups, the details, contracts. Can even speak to marriage. Okay, that's what the justice card speaks to, as well as karmic you know, justice being meted out, whereas everything, it's a kind of an assurance that everything will work out fairly, okay? If you are concerned about paperwork, legal matters, details, okay? If that's involved here, in case this is your second time around or whatever. So, that was your reading, Libra. It was beautiful. This is really, it was very moving. It's a beautiful read. What more can you ask for than to be told, true love, true love, I love you. This could be the one. You deserve love. And it's just saying, Listen, to be fair means justice card in this oracle message saying listen to what the other person's saying and be fair and understand as well. Okay? Well, it goes and is speaking to going from stasis to doing and these things always change. Like the wheel of fortune, things are always changing. And to accept that, right? Looks like a beautiful, passionate new beginning. Someone, it's very passionate. I'll tell you that. Whoever this is regarding your situation, very passionate. And it says it's true love. So congratulations. It was a pleasure. Talk to you guys soon. Check in for your next weekly love reading. Bye for now, Libra. Take care.